Patrick is a 23-year-old male who was hospitalized over the weekend, presenting with severe flu-like symptoms. Patrick reported having fever, aches and pains, vomiting, with the inability to keep any food down, and severe diarrhea. I'm so glad you're feeling better, honey. Yeah, you'll be out here in no time. It's just a little cold. In fact, we can go get lunch. Yeah, where do you want to go? Um, how about that new place downtown? It's Mexican. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon, folks. Dr. Hi. Mead. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So, I'm wondering if I could spend some time alone with Patrick for just a moment. Well, Doctor, I just don't see any point in that. Sure. Uh, well, no, we're family. There's no secrets here. I understand that. I just need to go over a couple of things with him. It's a matter of confidentiality. It's just kind of typical stuff that we have to go through. You just excuse us for a minute. I'll bring you right back in. Won't be just a moment. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So, Patrick, <clears throat> how are you feeling? Better. It's a rough flu, though. Yeah, it's been a rough weekend for you, no doubt. Um, well, as you know, over the weekend we ran some tests. Um, I've got the results back, and I'm hoping that I'd be able to share those with you now, if that's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, uh, the news might be a little discomforting to you at first, but I want you to know that I really feel confident that the support of your family and the support that you can get here with me and with the clinic is going to is going to help you get through this in a, in a good way. So um, uh, the results have come back and uh, it turns out that you're uh, coming up positive for the HIV virus. No, that can't be right. Yeah, unfortunately those results are, are correct. Am I gonna die? No, no Patrick, you're not gonna die. Um, these uh, people who are living with HIV nowadays, well into in, into into elder age, um, the the issue that that you're going to need to worry about is making sure that you're taking care of yourself. So we're going to want to make sure that we change some of those lifestyle habits that you've been talking about, um, and want to make sure that we go ahead and um, get you some medication. That's going to be something that you'll be taking on a daily basis, and then on top of that. Um, you know, just, just taking care of yourself. I mean, what am I going to tell everybody? <laughs> just, look, I know I was sick, okay? I just didn't know it was a life sentence. Yeah. You're feeling very, very, very upset right now. Yeah, I mean, of course I am. I mean, what, what are my parents going to say? Yeah. Well, I'm... I'm wondering if, you know, one thing that is often going on is people get upset and they're not sure how they can talk to other people about this. So um, I'm wondering if, if it would be okay if you went ahead and with me in the room, you were able to tell your parents, you know, what, what I've just told you. Why do you want me to tell my parents? Well, I think at this point, that's the best way to go. It's something that, you know, with my help, I think that, that we can come to a place where we can get through this together, but it's something that I think that you're going to need to be able to, to talk to them about. So, what do you think? All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to excuse myself and I'm going to call them back into the room now, if that's okay with you. Okay. All right. Hang on. I love this picture of Patrick. Oh, yeah, it's a nice picture, but Patrick's up there, and I think these guys are trying to put one over on us. I think that, I, I think there's more going on than they're telling us. Okay, folks, we're ready for you. Patrick's all set. If you want to follow me on up. Well, it's about time. Sean. Well, all right. Let's go ahead. Patrick? The doctor said you have something to tell us. 
Mom. Dad, I have... I have HIV. <laughs> that just can't be right. Well, the results have come back, and, and they are positive, and so it is correct. It's usually something that occurs with, with the lifestyle uh, choices that Patrick's talked to me about. So, um, what the hell have you been doing? Dad, are you angry? No. No, son, I'm not. No. Look, I just screwed up, okay? I just been partying with the wrong people and just screwed up. Patrick, you're sounding like you're feeling pretty guilty right now. Well, of course I'm feeling guilty. I just ruined mine and everybody else's life. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're, we're family. Yes. Yes, you are. And I'm here to support you. When can we just get out? I mean, when can we take my son home? Sure. Well, I, I anticipate being able to get Patrick out of here this afternoon to discharge him. Um, he'll go home with some medications, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we schedule a time when we can come back together and talk about what treatment's going to look like from this point on. Does that sound like a plan for everybody? It does. It sounds fine. It sounds fine. I mean, it, it's not going to be easy. In fact, this is probably going to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But we're a family, and we're going to get through it. Yeah. I think you will be able to get through it with the support that you have for one another. Um, there are some things that you're going to want to think about in terms of how you communicate with one another at this point in time. This is a difficult time that you're going to be going through. And one of the things that, that you're going to want to think about is is honoring time out for other people. So when you get into a conversation and it gets really emotional, which is likely to happen, um, you're going to want to be able to say, you know what, I need some time out and give that other person the time to just take some space and, and be on their own. Um, no offense, Doc. But I think we know how to talk to each other. Oh, Sean, I'm sorry. I, I was not inferring that you did not know how to talk to one another. I, I, I did not mean to imply that at all. What I am saying is that it's important for you to take, you know, those, those times to support one another. It's not like we don't talk to each other every day. Who is this guy? So what I'm interested in doing now, Sean and, and, and Sharon, is to is to give you some, some, some ways to get through this period. That's really what my main concern is, is to find some ways to support you. Um, one thing that I know that, that helps patients when they go through this kind of very, very serious issue um, and get news of this magnitude is to, is to do some certain things. And would that be okay if I shared some of those things with you guys now? I would, I would love to know what other people have done to kind of work through this and maybe you can help us work through some of it. Okay. Well, like I said, one of the things that's really important is taking that, that time out, right? Things will get emotional. There's no doubt about that. I, I think you all love each other and care for one another and there's going to be emotions that are going to come up. So. So having, having the ability to say, you know what, I need some time out, that's going to be a really important one. Another thing that's really important to think about is to make sure that um, you schedule times for each other to, uh, as a family, to come together and talk about this issue specifically. Um, and that any other time that you guys are, are, are together is not time to talk about this. So there's specific times that we're just going to dedicate talking about this so that it doesn't become an overwhelming part of our lives. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can schedule a time when we sit down and talk about it. And if tempers ever get too hot, we can certainly walk away and go our separate ways. <laughs> I just want to get you out of here right now and get you home. Great. Well, 
the other thing that I want to go over, just one last thing that's really, really important, is that you are a family and you are a group, but there's also this individuals. You're individual people, and you need to take care of each other, but, but also make sure that you take care of yourself. So I'm wondering if we could just really quickly share what are some of the things that you guys like to do uh, just to take care of yourself, you know, the, the me time? Well, I do like to read, and you know I like to scroll through <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> well, I used to think partying with my friends was a lot of fun. But uh, I like to ride my bike. Wow. Well, those are some great things. I mean, reading is a perfect thing to do to just kind of relax and enjoy time on your own. And, and Patrick, for you, that bicycle riding is going to be a huge thing for you. You're really going to want to make sure that you take care of yourself. And cycling will be a great thing for you to do. And Sean, I'm wondering, is there, is there anything that you enjoy doing? I like to go to the gym and sit in the jacuzzi. Well, that's great. Time to relax, right? Perfect. That sounds like a great plan. So it sounds like you guys have gotten some stuff, that, that some tools that you can take away with you. Um, I, I, I think I've covered everything I need to. Is there anything else that I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, then let me go ahead and get the paperwork going and see if I can get Patrick out of here. Okay. Take care. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Thank you.